Hello there everyone, I'm your German snob and I'm here with another episode of Let's Play uh, Black Mesa. I didn't upload a video yesterday, but I did record a video yesterday. Unfortunately, the audio didn't record properly, so I have to do it all over again. Bliss and heavens, ladies and gentlemen. Bliss and heavens. I'm so happy to do this all over again, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, sarcasm. So, yeah. The last time we got here, this time we're going to go somewhere else. But first there is someone I want to talk to, because here we have this fella. Oh, Hi there. Thank God. Listen. I know where you can find some more weaponry. Beautiful. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. I will. So... I think I'm ready. We're going to do this. So, what I was going to say, this guy can give us access to our first actual firearm. And a few grenades, in fact. So, that's pretty damn cool. So, come with me, doctor and open up this door. I've had my fill for excitement today. That's beautiful. Um, oh, welcome to stay safe what? haven. Uh-huh. So, oh. well, at any rate... Yeah, this guy doesn't look too over good. Over there's the weapons I spoke of. I know. I know. I know. Those weapons he spoke of would be, as I said, a bunch of grenades. Which, you know, thing is, in shooters, I usually don't use grenades very often because I can hardly think of any situations where they would be useful. But we also get a clock, and this thing is, in fact, pretty nice to have. I mean, let's be fair here. Yeah, fascinating is sure a way to put that. I mean, let's be honest here. As far as firearms go, this one is pretty lame. But now that we have it, we can finally um, exercise the Second Amendment and defend ourselves against alien invaders. Because, you know, that's how the Second Amendment goes. I'm sure that you crazy Americans have some sort of amendment regarding alien invaders, right? Right. So, uh, where do we have to go next? We have to go back down where we came from, which would be right... Not here. Yes, 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 indeed here. There you go. And it was in fact not that door which we were supposed to enter because, you know, it was that one. You know? You know. And in here, there is not a whole lot of stuff, but in here we will encounter a new enemy, by which I mean that head grab. No, by which I don't mean that head grab, and neither do I mean that barnacle here. I mean... Uh... Not that head grab zombie either, he's just a head grab zombie. That's fairly standard. Die. Die when I shoot you in the head, man. Wait, can we lure him into that. into that barnacle? Right there. Let's, let's try. Should be possible. <laughs> I knew it. You know, I kind of enjoy to be able to do things like that in a game. It's more or less just a gimmick, but, you know, it's, it's a neat little touch. So, in here we will meet a far more dangerous enemy. Namely... Yeah, exactly. The caption gave it away. That Vortigaunt here. Though he's not really as dangerous as I remembered him to be, so... Well, he's dead. Poor guy. I mean, just think about it. From his perspective, we are probably the ugly... Dangerous aliens, and he's just some traveler from his own planet, kind of stranded in this strange land, and... We, really, we should feel bad about ourselves. But before we feel bad about ourselves, we should look around a little bit. Right there, headcrab zombie, you are not really able to reach us here, aren't you? So I am not going to waste any of my ammunition Gordon, on you, because... Is that you? Is it safe? Ah! Not yet. But now it's safe. Hey there. Oh. oh dear. I do believe I soiled myself. So, uh, you're not going to come out of here, aren't you? 
Well, I probably wouldn't do it either, I mean seriously, but still it was worth a try. So yeah, that guy can't get out of here, which I am fairly happy about. In here, if I remember correctly, should be a bit of ammunition, exactly. And now that that is done, we can go down here, seeing how there isn't really any other door we can enter yet. Nope, there isn't. So yeah, Geronimo. Fortunately, there's like... Like stuff like, stuff like, um, like water down here, which makes our fall a little bit less hard. Those barnacles, we can actually reach them with our crowbar from the ground. But we can also be stupid and get hurt anyway. You know, that's always at least an option. Oh, don't tell me stuff about mana lacerations. And you, you will just die like a nice head grab zombie. Though really I don't feel like you are the nicest head grab zombie I've ever met. But then most of those I have met are pretty nice. So by comparison you are not really that bad. I hope you're happy about that. Or maybe not. He won't have any opportunity to tell us about how happy he is with that. And this guy we are not even going to ask him. Because really just look at him. Does he look like a particularly nice zombie? Well, no, he doesn't. So therefore, I beat him over the head with a crowbar. Jerk. Not unlike that guy here, and his eyeballs are just kind of swimming in the water. <laughs> Even though I kind of doubt that it's his eyeballs, and that this is his brain, it's just probably, you know, the body parts of some guy he ate. Which makes me feel even more justified in beating him with a crowbar. A little bit something like that. And... Oh, come on! That guy's kind of an asshole, don't you think? And so is that one. So we can give them those barrels to keep them occupied while we beat them to death. A little bit something like that. Yeah. Hey, we got the leg and we're not afraid to use it. Uh, and we are going to kill those guys first, even though I'm probably wasting my time here. But for some reason I seem to be stuck in the mindset of playing an RPG where I'm like required to uh, to, to defeat enemies to gain level ups. Yeah. So we can use this valve here. Yeah, you know, like that. And after we have used it, those little sewer, those little sewer systems, hell no, this little sewer system here is going to fill with water, which is fairly self-explanatory. And now that it does fill with water, we should be able to get out of here as soon as possible. Well, you know, we should at least try. Go away, zombie, just fall down that hole. And so we can reach the other side of that door. See, I knew it was possible. I mean, I didn't tell you about it, but of course I knew it. I mean, what kind of idiot do you think I am, viewers? For a loading time in this game, this was actually fairly short. Which doesn't say a whole lot, really, but still, I appreciate it. So, in here... Is there anything dangerous in here? Who knows? Now, you might think we're supposed to use this... Huh. You might think, oh, it's just a head grab. I mean, it hurts us anyway, but it's still just a head grab. You get down there. Yeah, kind of like that. What was I going to say? Yeah, we could use that elevator, but, you know, not yet, because there is a little hidden uh, room in this room. As awkward as that may sound. Well, there are probably better ways to put it, but 
you know, you know. So what we have to do is, not that, but more like that. And you know, now that we can do that, we can access this air vent, I think. A little bit like that, indeed. Now, using that air wind, we can get into a secret room with a health pickup and I think a little bit of ammunition. Yeah, in fact, I'm pretty sure about it. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, the thing is, I've already told you I've already played this part yesterday, but my audio didn't record properly, so the whole thing was way more quiet than it should have been. And, you know, in fact, pretty difficult to understand. So, it does have its benefits being already familiar with this part of the game. What does that Mac say? No, really. Uh. Me to you, from me to you. And there is a picture of two smiling guys on there. What does that video cassette uh. Who the heck knows? So yeah, here we can get ourselves a little bit of health. And here we can pull a switch, which is pretty nice, so that you know we can leave this room. And now we're going down the elevator. But first I want to see if... Nope. Okay, now we can go down the elevator and allow me to save here. Even though I think it auto-saves, but you never come... You can never be too sure. You dig? So, yeah. This part is going to be annoying. Because in a few seconds there will be a whole bunch of head grabs coming after us. A bit like that little guy here. We could shoot them, but I think our crowbar is a little bit more useful. Even though, really, I genuinely honest to god died here the first time I did this and I think the second time too it took me in fact a few attempts until I finally did it because while those guys don't do a lot of damage they there are a whole lot of them here and they are not really that easy to fend off you know so this part is legitimately difficult you know so we are going to be very careful and still probably gonna die, but, you know, that's part of the curse with me. Die, 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 die. You know, dying like I will do in a few seconds. Die. Yeah. 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 And now we can feel a little bit safer, even still not very safe, but, you know, a bit safer. Oh, we are almost dead. Go and fuck yourself. We won't let those guys come close. No sir, we won't. Okay, now we can feel at least a little bit safe. Ah, I'm not sure. Was there? Yes, there was. Thank God, because if there wasn't a first aid place, this would have been awkward as all hell. Yeah, those don't restore my full health, but they should be enough. Mm -hmm. Before we go anywhere else, we'll look for any kind of pickup this place may provide. Even though I don't think there is anything else here, but you know, we still can try, right? And I still want my gravity gun. Oh, yes, this thing. I knew it would pay to look into all those grates. Because, you know, grates, they are pretty great. I feel terrible for that joke. Anything else? I don't know, but it doesn't look like it. Yes, there was apparently a ammo pickup in there. Apparently, nothing else, if I'm correct, yeah. And a little bit more ammo. Can never have enough of that. Mm. 
Yeah, there was apparently one of those ugly dog eye guys. And there's a not much more good looking head trap. But it's dead now. So you may wonder, how do we ever get across this place? Well, you see those pipes? Yeah, exactly like that. And at this place we have to duck jump, which feels a little bit awkward. But is absolutely doable. <sighs> really? Really. I was never good at jumping puzzles. I'm sure you never would have guessed, right? So let's try this again. I could cut this out, but I don't think it's worth it. And I'm pretty sure you agree. Well, no, in fact, I'm not sure you agree, but I will just assume you agree, because really, it's just a matter of... No! <laughs> okay, now this is getting ridiculous. I'm making a complete and utter idiot out of myself. I wonder if we can shoot that ugly guy without... No, not without, but before it destroys the whole thing. Who knows? Who knows indeed? You know, I'm probably not telling you anything new here, but I find f jumping in first person games awkward as all hell. And that's the reason I really don't like jumping puzzles in first person shooters. It's not only in this game, it's also in, well, Deus Ex, for example, which is otherwise, as you probably all know, a really excellent game, but no, I don't want grenades, really not. I think grenades would right now be a highly inappropriate weapon. You know, um, that's probably the reason why you don't see them a lot in first-person games, you know, jumping puzzles. Um, there was a game, and you're probably familiar with it, Mirror's Edge, which was very much based on first-person jumping, I'm sorry for talking over that loading scene instead of cutting it out, um, called Mirror's Edge, which was based around first-person jumping, and I thought it was pretty good. But thing is, not really because of its first-person jumping sections, but rather because it had a really, 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 really great art design. And may still be one of the best-looking games that I am familiar with. So now we have the decision, do we want to go down here or you know, there. But it doesn't really make any kind of difference. Uh, still, we're going... <laughs> you know, this is one of those decisions that are difficult to make just because they don't matter at all. So yeah, here we are. And talking about here, there is something else here, which makes me want to save at this point once again. Because down there is that guy here, whom we really want to kill, and who may kill us if we are not careful, because he has very, very, very intimidating uh, ranged attacks, but now we could kill him before he could do anything bad to us. So, you know... Um, I shouldn't have been all that worried at this point. And you know what? That's the part to which I played the last time and where I stopped recording, you know, yesterday when I tried my to make my first take of this um this section. So you know what? I think we are going to finish recording for today. So that being said, I'm your German snob and this is Let's Play Black Mesa. See you Soon, <laughs> I suppose. So, yeah. Goodbye.